Okay, I got a bleep, got a green to red, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you this. This is my second painting by numbers project. Um, just started it today. Um, it's actually the, the canvas, framed canvas, you can get the loose and you can get, well I have got one uh, loose and a separate frame where you make up, but the paint's all gone off on that so I chucked that. Uh, so yeah, got this one and I'll just show you what, that's what it should look like. Something like that, there's uh, two uh, swans at the bottom there, but I might omit them, just depends. Um, but like I say, started off, you get brushes, three brushes, and you get little brackets to hang it, but you don't need that. Uh, you don't need the brackets. I haven't used these brushes because I've got my, my own brushes, but I just started it and I picked a number four. And that's what it looks like at the moment. So yeah, it's a good, good hobby. And also what comes with this, you know, if, if, if you're painting and you, you, and you, you know, you, you go over onto another section, a different number, a different colour, doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Um, as I say, um, the, uh, if I angle this upwards, hang on a second, my first well, well I, I've done a painted by numbers years ago, but the top there, that side there, that's my uh, first project, which I'll show you that at the end of this video, which uh, I omitted a few things on that. Like I say, it's got some swans down here somewhere, but I might just, you know, get rid of them. But like I say, I hope there aren't many number fours, because I haven't got much of number four of the pot left. But it doesn't matter if you if you run out of paint or if you make a mistake or if you're not sure if you've painted over the next section you're not sure what the, the colour is, just look at the colour next to it and just use that colour. You'll get away with it. It's not rocket science. But like I say, that's how far I've got uh, with this project so far. And uh, so yeah, it's good. I can't remember how long the first one took me, but there's a lot more small little sections on this one than my first one that I did uh, but yeah it's a, it's a good little hobby as I say that's what it's, what it's supposed to look like when it's finished and as I see hopefully down the bottom there there's a couple of swans but I might just you know not not put them in and don't know but uh, we'll see yeah like I say they come with a few brushes and the paints come in strips. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-four pots of paint. And also, like I say, if you do, you know, paint over something, you've got come to come with that as well. So you can look it up and you think, oh, it's a number three or a number five and what have you. It's an exact copy of what's on the canvas. So you can, uh, you know, if you if you if you make a bit bit of mistake, it's not rocket science. So that's it. So yeah, carry on with that and plot along and probably make a few videos as, as I progress. So at the end now I'll show you the first project which is up there. This is my uh, first project and I made a few. There was a, a, is that a Canada geese or goose or something. There was supposed to be two there and I just put the one in and the front of the hut there. There was a jetty coming across there. I painted that in, didn't look right, so I just got rid of that. And I also altered the front of the hut there. And I also altered the trees at the side here. And I altered the chimney as well. Just made a few alterations on that. Like I say, there was a, there was a jetty coming across here and wood, you know, going into this, the water and that, but it didn't look very good, so I just painted over it. So that's my first project and so yeah painting by numbers.